I'll be moving this nose to his eye. In total, we'll be having around Alright everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we'll be trying Adobe Illustrator 2020 on MacBook Air 2017 and we'll see is MacBook Air 2017 any good for graphics designing on Adobe Illustrator. So here we'll be opening around 50 graphics file on Adobe Illustrator and we'll see how good this MacBook Air 2017 performs for this kind of graphics designing. I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Intego, an amazing Mac security company. They have been working to keep this Mac community safe since 1997. Yes, you got it right it's 1997 and they got some amazing softwares to keep this mac community safe as you already know that we downloaded all those archive files from the internet and oftentimes we get viruses into those archive files so to keep our mac safe our expensive mac safe we just need an antivirus and one thing until we have antivirus on our computer we won't know that we have viruses on our computer so that's a fun fact anyway here i got the premium bundle x9 which includes six applications in total in all of them i like the washing machine net barrier and the virus barrier the most and there are other three personal backup content barrier and the net update washing machine is an amazing tool that will help you to keep your computer clean and neat by removing all those cache and junk files if you're outside or even in the home you are using the internet but you just want some certain apps to use the internet then you can block other applications totally every kind of outgoing and incoming network connections and third my most favorite one virus barrier it will help you to keep your mac safe that's how simple it is this washing machine net barrier and virus barrier are just more than enough for my needs so why waiting just click on the first link in the description and you will get to download this Intego amazing software i highly appreciate their sponsorship with our channel enough talk about indigo i think i have promoted that software too much but i really like their interface and for that support we have to appreciate anyway let's go into my computer and one thing you have to remember that is i'm using this software in a very hot condition right now in my room there is no ac there is no fan and there are a lot of lights over my room just for this video and i'm also going to screen record and that means the performance of this MacBook Air 2017 will get a little decreased because of this screen recording and also because of this hot environment. Anyway, let's go into my computer and go for the real test. By the way, at first we have to check how many gigabyte do we have out of that 8 gigabyte. As you can see, we have 3.12 gigabyte left out of that 8 gigabyte. Anyway, let's open this Adobe Illustrator files. After that, we'll go for this EPS files. One thing to be noted that I have used the Illustrator files, also the EPS file. But one thing I have noted that with this EPS file, .eps file, this computer gets a little more warm and it doesn't perform that well uh, compared to the Illustrator AI file. Anyway, let's go for the AI file faster, okay? Let's see the opening time. How long will it take to open this software on this MacBook Air 2017? Okay, so I loaded Adobe Illustrator for the first time and that's why it took a little more time. Doesn't matter. Okay, let me customize it for my style. This layers will be the first one and this library properties will go later. Anyway, so here is the number one graphics and for this kind of graphics moving the files. Okay, I haven't ungrouped them. So here we have all of them and ungroup all of these files. Let's go for this library left and here we have all the groups and we have ungrouped them. We'll go for this file. Okay, so I have opened one file. Let's go for the clip path. Let's move these files. Let's go for this one and let me move this one. Let's go back. Let's move. Okay, let's go and move this one over here and let's duplicate this one. And move this one here okay so now we have only one file we're going to open like one two three four five and we'll be giving adobe illustrator a stress test are you ready three two one boom okay i think it's a huge task anyway so adobe illustrator did amazing job and i don't know if my screen recording will be over here or not I'm just feeling a little horrified right now. So right now we have around 715 megabyte of RAM available out of that 8 gigabyte. Moving between files are not seamless, but yep, we can actually use this one. Let's go for the moving. Yep, we can actually do the things pretty well. And if I just want to drag this one to this file, can I do that easily? Okay, 
um, yep we can we can actually do this easily without any kind of hiccups okay that's working perfectly fine okay this background need to be removed anyway so okay there is one thing I can feel the lagginess over here if I'm moving the file it is feeling a little laggy but yeah it's kind of usable here you can see it's it's pretty usable right now and we have 452 megabyte of ram left that's fine okay now we are going to give it another level of stress that is we'll be opening 10 files okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that means in total we'll be having around 16 adobe illustrator files on adobe illustrator Whew that will be the real stress test and i think that's a little overkill thing right now we are going to do oh i'm a little horrified oh man here you can see the ram it's already filled up only 40 37 megabyte left out of that 4 gigabyte and i think my screen recording will stop soon i don't know anytime soon my screen recording will stop but oh uh, i can i can feel the lagginess close yeah it's a little laggy still i can edit the files it's a little choppy right now here you can see hopefully you can see it's a little choppy right now but i can just use it kind of okay -ish. yep i can use it okay anyway so i'll be just removing this path i'll be just removing this path over here and this one okay this one of this one over this place no uh, this one a little left and i'll be bringing this to the arrange bring font okay that's kind of a perfect for me let's go for the object and yep i can still edit all those photos amazingly no such hiccups like that we have all the files over here and let's open a business file here is a business card right now over here let's go and move this anchor points okay i haven't okay let's go and move this one let's go for these designs let's go and put the design over here and we're just breaking things right now but the main thing the main point the main concept over here is to edit those files and here you can see we have around 16 tabs open 16 adobe illustrator files on this macbook air with 8 gigabyte of ram and we can still edit files on adobe illustrator like it's not something amazing but 16 files like i don't know who will ever use 16 files at a time and for my extreme uses i mostly use like two to three files at a time but not more than that all right so we're at the round two and in this round we'll be cleaning the ram and we'll be going for the work again but this time with the eps file as i already told you that eps files are not that optimized for max i don't know what in general eps file doesn't perform that well i'll be opening all those eps files right now on my computer let's go for the sample files we have all those eps files we have around uh, how much files do we have eps around 12 eps files and trust me eps files are not that great let's go for the naming okay that's fine open with head of illustrator okay Adobe Illustrator is over here and here's the EPS file let me open all those files one file is not justifying it because right now we have cleaned the RAM we have 3.27 gigabyte 3.18 gigabyte of RAM left let's go and um, move these files let's go this one and I can just simply move this NB words let's make it NBA what do you think uh, NBA yep NBA uh, now I'm going to open five of them okay one two three four and also five okay let's go open with adobe illustrator and don't show again yes okay let's see okay five of them are currently opened on adobe illustrator and i can see i can feel the lag over here and it's pretty laggy i can just zoom here you can see it's it's, it's the lag here you can see it's the lag i can zoom in properly and it's lagging so much like we still have 3.2.74 gigabyte of ram left but it's still pretty laggy over here as you can see if i'm zooming it's not zooming out like mm, it's it's not it's not amazing okay let's go and try this one and still over here you can see it is just it is laggy i'm, I'm just moving my finger but it's not doing the way it should do ai files are much better than these files like it is pretty laggy over here you can see if you are just making one or two or even three adobe illustrator files dot ai files at a time then this macbook air is perfectly fine but if you are like using this eps file editing eps file then i don't think it will do the job right i'll be moving this nose to 
his eye and his mouth to his this eye oh i'm a ghost right now right now we have around 12 files and the spinning spinning is happening okay and now this time i think this time my computer will die who right now we have around okay we have to recheck 1.49 gigabyte of ram left but it's very very extremely laggy right now extremely laggy i think my screen recording will turn off anytime i don't know but yep it is extremely laggy right now yep it's extremely laggy anyway that was the test should you buy this macbook air 2017 for graphics designing on adobe illustrator or not so my answer what's my answer i'll say that if you want to edit adobe illustrator files then you should definitely go for this macbook air 2017 it's an amazing product but if you also want to edit eps file then i think you should also check macbook pros or other windows machines for this price range anyway that is my answer macbook air is an amazing and solid product especially the battery life is a plus anyway that is all for this one and hopefully on our channel there will be another version of this video with arm macbook that's coming very soon